Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted in the beginning of July this year, in a previous and earlier dev channel build in the Windows 11 Insider program, build 23493, the default apps like Settings, File Explorer, um, other default apps like Get Help, Get Started, in the Start Menu All Apps list, we're now labeled system. So they have a system label next to them to differentiate system apps from so-called normal and other apps. And this is not available, as you can see, in the stable version, but as mentioned, was and is available currently in preview in the Windows 11 Insider program. Now, in regards to um, the updated system app labels in the Start All Apps in the Start menu, it seems now that the same badging, so to speak, is rolling out now for the Microsoft Store. And this was spotted by the Windows enthusiasts at Phantom Ocean 3 over on X. And if we head to our Microsoft Store, and this is applicable, applicable to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, I've, I've noticed it on both. If we head to our library, you'll see now that system components or default apps are now labeled system components where previously this was not the case. So you can see your so-called other apps just have apps next to each entry. But anything to do with a default app it has now got the system component next to each of those entries. And this is just some of the more recent apps that have been updated on my Windows 11 device as an example. So there you can see all the default apps have got system components next to them. And as mentioned, this is also rolling out for the Microsoft Store, I've noticed, on Windows 10 as well. So basically, at the end of the day, um, there's a new badge, and this is new badge in system component, which has now been added um, to basically differentiate and distinguish system components and default apps from other apps. And I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction because um, it will help, especially those who are not that kind of technically inclined, um, just to differentiate what is so-called a normal app and what is a system component or a default app. And I actually think this is a nice move. And as mentioned, this is available now in the stable version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. It may be on a controlled rollout. I'm not aware um, that it's been widely available at the moment, but I am seeing it in my region. And this is now falling in line, as mentioned, with the Start All Apps list, which in the Insider program now with the system apps or the default apps is also getting those system badging. So obviously now Microsoft's trying to push this out and trying to unify this experience, which I actually think is nice because it just helps you to, to distinguish between system components and so-called normal apps. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.